Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create uh, this kind of 3D maps uh, in a leaflet. So we are going to use this OSM building uh, library, uh, which which has the link as this one, and we are going to use this uh, library in our map. So it has already written some of the quick uh, examples so but we are doing it in a different way uh, so we can create a map like this yeah so it has used the data tiles and the uh, schema for this uh, getting the data is uh, this code and I have used uh, some of the note inside it uh, that I, I could not forget it and it has used the same um, data uh, to load that building uh, or load that 3d map so uh, we just we had done some um, progress in the previous uh, tutorial like we have uh, worked with the VT layer vector tiles layer and now we are going to use uh, we are going to make a 3d uh, inside our map. So in order to do that, first you need to download uh, Easy Button. Uh, so uh, I have integrated Easy Button inside it. So uh, in my GitHub, just download Easy Button and save it inside JS. So it will use uh, some buttons uh, which will be uh, when clicked. It will just so 3D like this one. Like when you click this home button, you can just uh, make it 3D, 3D. Like it's not not showing any 3D. Now when I click it, the 3D will be uh, automatically in the map. So for that, we use the easy button. And now we are using that script source and JS inside easy button and save it. After that, we are going to integrate our uh, uh, this c uh, CSS of the easy button first. So we are going to use it here. And after that, we are going to use the OSM um, CDN. So this is a OSM library and you can use different uh, version of this OSM building. But I'm using this one um and also you can put it here and after this yeah i have already used this after using this leaflet that's js i'm also going to use uh yeah after that i can just uh use this uh function l dot easy button and when clicked the function will be called which will load the osm building and load this um, JSON map. So this JSON is a uh, actual uh, GeoJSON which will be converted to the vector tiles and will be loaded to the map. Okay. So when you just copy this one and paste it over here uh, in the main.html, like I have already pasted, but you can again paste it here. So save it and then also save this index.html and see if anything's happened in the live server this map has not been this easy button has not been integrated well so when we click here we can when we uh, hover over here we can see so 2.5 d building so i am going here there there are so less building now this is the building and i just click here and I could see the buildings, 3D buildings here. So I will go now to the map of Germany. So it will look uh, better in my region in Karlsruhe. So you can just go here and see the result. This is this is a old palace and different coloring of the maps is possible because in Germany and there is a good open street map than USA and more uh, 
they have more contributed to the open street map so you can also see different colors here so what they actually they have done inside their code is they just use the height uh, that is uh, put inside uh, the uh, tag of the OSM layer and use that height to extrude this uh, 3D map uh, using some WebGL or some technologies, but you have to see the documentation for that. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of uh, what kind of data they use um, so <clears throat> not sure but you can just see what they have used um, to make it 3d it's a big library so i don't want to go inside it so in this way uh, you can just uh, uh, make your own 3d map in order to solve it, I don't know how to solve it because I have used the CSS. So let me put it over here. But see, that should not be any problem. Yeah. So let me put it over at first and save it. If that would be JavaScript, it would be problem if we place uh, something down or up. But for CSS, I think there it is not a problem but i can solve that problem because i am not good at css so uh, if we inspect this we can see easy button interactive unnamed uh I have used the easy button CSS2. It has used the home. Uh, maybe the problem is, uh, I think I got that. So I am just looking what is the problem here. So if i use some bootstrap uh, or no bootstrap won't solve this i think mm, but let's see let's see Ah, that's that's from boot bootstrap yeah so you can see here the home button is now here so you just add this bootstrap link uh, because it has used the font or awesome so this comes from so it came from here so you have to use bootstrap in order to use this so thank you for watching and uh, i will come again with a new tutorial so bye bye for today